Oh, good brethren. Yes, Irie, you know? Yes, Irie, Irie you bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you're going to broke them up and you broke them up. You broke them up, You broke brethren, them up yeah, for real. You said, whoop this. <laughs> so how did you feel, man, when obviously when you landed that shot? I missed it, Pierce, but I know what? everyone's telling me that it was a peach of a shot. The thing was, in the first round, I went out, tried to find my range. It was all over, throwing shots from weird angles, and, and it was dangling second round, I found my range, mm -hmm. started peppering him up a bit, and the third Third round, you know, all I was thinking about when Naz saying to you know, you've got to brook them up, mm. and I thought, yeah, man, I'm mm -hmm. gonna brook him up. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you man. made a statement. That's what happened. Right, yeah. you made a statement out there to the other guys in the featherweight division. I yeah. mean, which which that which route are you going down now? Who do you want? Anybody. Listen, if they offered me any of the world champions at featherweight, mm. anybody. I believe I would get in there, and no matter what the circumstances, I will come out on top. Believe me. Uh, quick. Quick. You want quick? Because you got obviously you got some back history with quick. Yeah. Uh, if they offer me, if they offer me Gary Russell Jr. Wow. Anybody, any featherweight in the world, you put me in, and I promise you, I'll come out on top. There's a massive fight coming up, obviously, yeah. and you, you got eyes on that fight, you know, in, in Leeds. Who do you think is going to take that? I think it's going to be a tough fight, you know. I think uh, Selby should just scrape it. Mm. But listen, a lot of people are saying, obviously, Warrington the, these days. The thing is with Warrington, you know, it brings a big, big crowd, or whatever. Right. But the crowd can't fight for you. Exactly. And I believe, you know, let me say something about what uh, Selby. Selby's class, and I don't believe, you know, he'll let that crowd get to him. You know, he's come up the tough way. Small hall shows, the big shows. Mm -hmm. He's had it hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I hope he does do it. Right. What's your assessment to Kel's performance tonight? You're Who's in, Kel's? Yeah, yeah. He's big statement. One five four. Yeah, that, it was extra crispy, wow. in it. It was extra. Listen. Cast the sugar on top, bro. When that <laughs> landed, I felt it. Mm. I mean, it went. Yeah. Yeah. But what a shot. Yeah, but the thing is, I always knew at 154, right. Kel's a beast. I tell you now, you know, uh, there won't be many 154 fighters who could beat Kel. Yeah. 100% Kel will beat anybody. I tell you that now. Obviously, everyone's talking about the Amir Khan fight. Do you think he's going to have a catch weight? Do you think Khan will come up to 154 or do you think Khan will go um, down to 147? I, don't, I think this fight's not, the Khan's comeback fight's not at 147, is it? So 150, I think. One, what is it? Yeah, it's a catch weight, 150. 150. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why don't you just fight at 150 or whatever they want it to be, you know? Yeah. Catch weight. But the thing is, uh, with Khan, I think Kel should fight, you know? Someone else, forget about Khan. Really? Because, yeah, because right. you know, Khan is just dragging out, and he, I think he's running scared of Kel. Mm. He knows if he gets in there with Kel, with that performance today, mm. you know, speed, timing always beats speed, and there's no one in boxing who throws who's got better timing than Kel Brook, mm -hmm. apart you, from Mayweather. Charlo, you think he's obviously going down that route to fight Jamal Charlo? Yeah, I, listen, let me just tell you something. If Kel gets in with Jermaine Charlo, Kel will whoop him. Mm. Because Kel is, let me tell you something. He, he, uh, yeah, let me tell you something. Bridge when he lands that right that hand, yeah, he's, he's, he's looking strong. He's looking strong. Yeah. Mm, that uppercut was nasty. Yeah. That uppercut was nasty. And finally, because I know you want to get off, what's your thoughts about tonight? Uh, Ortiz Wilder, how do you see that fight? Tough going? fight, tough fight. I'll, mm. I'll back my boy, mm. Deontay Wilder. But I'll tell you something, I wouldn't be surprised if Ortiz does something. Because Ortiz, I just, he's possessed. You know, he's had it very tough. And, you know, he's been around for a very long time. Yeah. And when I seen that stare down in the way, he wasn't one bit intimidated. He looked like he was ready to kill someone. Mm. He looked like one of them Cuban killers. Mm -hmm. and like it's been a moment, it's been waiting. Yeah, all his life, all his life he'd been waiting for this fight. So, right. you know, I don't think Wilder should take him lightly. He can't be going there wild. Yeah. What do you mean? Because Wilder came in like really light, lighter than he's ever been. Wilder did. Yeah, yeah, Wilder I think Wilder's trying to keep it long and move around. Exactly. Because he can't mix it in with someone like, because he can bang that mm. Ortiz. And I'd hope, the thing is, I want both of them to win. Do you like think he's, he's going to apply the tactics like he did against the Vern? I think so, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, Ortiz is 10 times better than Severe. You know, if you make a mistake with Ortiz, Ortiz will hurt you. 
and, and he's a southpaw. And yeah, and he's very technically brilliant. Mm -hmm. He's very good, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And uh, he can take a good shot. So we'll have to wait and see. Were well, you watching it tonight? I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm a bit tired right now. I might just leave it and watch it in the morning. Yeah. You know, I, he knows me. I don't go after party. I don't right. drink. I don't smoke. Chilling out. That's how you I'm celebrate. Even, just go. Bon no ganja. You're not bon no ganja. We know we've been talking about statements and making statements and everything, yeah? Did, was there anything, I know you were talking, you were thinking about me, um, Prince, Prince Nazim and broken them up and everything, but was there anything in your head where you're thinking, yo, I, I need to make a statement tonight? Was that Listen, in your head? Listen, the thing is, my last four or five fights, I've knocked everyone out. So, you know, I just need to keep on doing that and getting, building it up. You know, the better the opponent you put me in with, the better I'm going to perform. You put me in with someone who's come to fight, and I promise you, He's gonna get hit. I like we've seen your softer side tonight, though. You saw just some compassion to your. To your yeah, you know, you because in the, the day, you, you know, yeah, forget the fight. You know, yeah. you. I don't want nothing, you know, bad to happen to the kid, because you know you respect them. You know, this is how he makes his living, and he's got family, he's got kids. You know, he's got misses he has to go home to. So you know, I don't want nothing, nothing bad, bad to happen to him. You know. Okay. Yep. Okay, Gala, do you have anything to say to the people that were tuning in tonight, especially your Sheffield fans? Then? All my Sheffield people, all the fans who come tonight, I love every single one of yous who cheered me on at the weigh-in and at the fight. I felt all of yous. Thank you. Okay, Gala, pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you, man.